Hey everybody, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video and all the other videos. So we're, we're going to be ranking all 30 MLB team, team logos. Starting off at number 30, Indians. It's just a C. I mean, there's, I mean, there's really nothing else about it. Like, if they could outline it maybe in white, that would be really good. But for now, logo's trash. So, um, go, to, go in the trash. Tried it. And then this one's just a T. I don't know if you all can tell, but there's just some red in the back. Which I think that's pretty cool. That you know they're able to add red in the background, so pretty good. But it's just not good enough for these other logos that are right here, right then. Pirates, just a B, just a B. Can, do I have to say, can I even say anything else about this? Because you all know it's just a P. It's not like it's gonna be number one. Cause it's just a P. No one cares about a single letter. And then Philly. It's, I mean, it's good. It's good. But I mean, again, it's just a P. Just a P. All right. Now here's what the, now here's what the other team should have done. The Indians outline it in a different color. Just like the Cubs. I like how the Cubs did you know white at out, and then in is red. I think that's pretty cool. I think the Indians should have done that. I mean, in this one, this logo I think is pretty cool because it's like an actual C. They made it. They, I mean, they made it like different than all the other ones that are a C. And yeah, well, there was bottom of their division, so of course if I did, and if I ranked all of these, they'd be second to last in their division. So it's better than what they are usually in their division. And the Capitals. Not the Capitals, I'm sorry. Well, they are Washington. Oops. I mean, it's just a W. What was it this little thing right there? So, I mean, nothing special about it. And then Boston. And then Boston. You know, it's just a B outlined with, and, you know, they, they made some spikes and, you know, cool stuff on there. But really, nothing special about it. Wins. TC, pretty good. Cause right, cause right now we're gonna start getting in, you know, some of those logos that have two letters, like um, the twins. You know, they have that C and T, and then just an H for Houston. But I, I put them ahead of the ahead of the twins because of that star. And then Miami. Kind of hard to see, but Miami, you know, they're with the Merlin in the background and the M. You know, they had different colors, which is pretty cool and everything. And then, and then you have the A's. I mean, I like, I mean, I like it how they had, you know, this right there and made a different color and then have that and then the A is pretty cool. How about the top? They can see they had some lines. And then the angels. I mean, I don't like it how they did like the top thing, like an angel, which is which was pretty cool. But I mean, then again, again, the other ones we've done just an A. But I that but I think that put them up there because of their name and what that stand for. I think that was pretty cool. So that's why they're not further back. And then the Atlanta Braves. I'm a huge Braves fan. So and of course I want to be towards the front. But this isn't based on teams. This is based on the. This is based on what I think is the best logo, not on teams. And then I like how the, you know, the, just just the A's. They had two of these, both different colors, and the, and they look kind of fancy with the A. But for some people, it's hard for them to tell the um, Alabama and the Braves A apart. Then my second favorite team, the Brewers. And I just put them up. I mean, again, I like how they did that. And then they did, um, I think, you know, the thing at the bottom. I think that was, like, the wheat. I think that was pretty cool. So that's why I put them up there. And then Arizona Diamondbacks. 
you know, it's just an A, but I like how, you know, they did the logos inside. I think that was really cool. Right, and then KC. I like it how, you know, they connected that because they didn't have to connect it. In fact, the, the next one, the next few I'll be doing will be connected with something. All right, and then we're going to go to the Rockies. It's a CR. I like how they combine them again. And if you can, and if you can see really closely, right in the R, you can see that C kind of goes right in to the middle of the R. So I think that was really cool, and I think that was great. And again, the, the Atlanta Braves, they had an A, and there's different logos these teams have, but what's on here is what I'm just going to go with. If they have different ones, like the Braves have the hammer, I, that, that's a different logo. But I'm just going with what's on here. But if I get if, if there's different helmets with different logos, then I'll do another one with those. But, and then we're going to go with the A in the American League champs, Tampa Bay. I was, I was rooting for them. But put pull it off. I like how they kind of combined it. But if you see, there's a little, it's kind of connected. There's just a little spacing. And then the defending champs, Dodgers. I, I like how they have the eye, you know, going all the way through there and how they have that go up. Right over there. I think that was pretty cool. And then the Seattle Mariners. It's kind of just, I mean, it's, again, it's kind of just an S. But I just put it up there because I think uh, it was just kind of cool. The colors were different. It was unique, like, about color-wise. And then we're going to go with the St. Louis. It's rough. In a fade for that T. In fact, we're up being a Brewers fan. Because out of everyone in our division, they these it's them and the Cubs that actually give us a challenge. Because of the Reds and the Pirates, we don't have to worry about them. All the pi all the all the Pirates got is Josh Bell, and I'm sure they got a few other stars. But I'm not gonna you know name the whole entire lineup. And then just and then Joey Votto for the Reds. So, you know, I just think these are the only two that give me give us a chance. And, you know, I like how they have the the T. The S and L for St. Louis Cardinals. Looks like they should have the C, which I kind of wish they had the C there for St. Louis Cardinals. And the San Diego, I have them high because I like it how they, you know, look. The S overlaps, which is really cool from the D. So that's why they're up there. And then the Giants. Just, you know, I like how it was also overlapping. And then you have the New York Mets. The Y kind of goes with the N. Right, then you're probably thinking, where's Detroit? Detroit should probably be way back there, but not this one. I like how they like a bunch of different lines. It was really cool. Very unique. Very different, from, actually, from what all these other ones we've been seeing. And then you have... The New York Yankees. Man, I hate the Yankees. They've won it so many times. They're like Tom Brady and the Patriots. Well, now it's the Bucks, but either way. It's like Tom Brady. He wins another one, wins another one, wins another one. It's tiring. They at least haven't won one since 2009. Of course, now that I say that, this season, in 2021, they're going to win the World Series now that I just said that. I like it. You know, like... I mean, I like it, but it just, it's neat. It's, you know, nothing special about it, but it's pretty cool. Then we're down to the, and then there was three left. Which, now we're going to go to the White Sox. I like how they usually have them combine, which I think is really cool how they're able to put those two together and create it. And then the Toronto Blue Jays. I like how they have... The leaf, and then since it's a bird, a blue jay, how they had the bird, I think that was really cool. So I'm going to give you all a minute to think. And then every single team, except for one team. So, think. What could that last team be? Or if you want to, go back, rewind the video, 
write down all the teams, and then just scratch it off as we go, and at the end, you'll see the team. And you all are probably shocked by this, but the Orioles, I mean, it's just really good compared to the ones that are on there. I mean, look, they have like a round face, a hat with their logo on there, and eyes, and everything, and a beak and everything. It's just really cool. But he is one of the scariest mascots of, Scots of what I've heard of. I've never really, you know, seen them. I've only seen them on video. But I ha I heard, I've had heard he's one of the scariest. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm Kellen Fisher. Smash that like button. Share. Goodbye.